Hi, this is David Bryant Copeland, and I'm here to talk to you about my new book, Rails, Angular, Postgres, and Bootstrap. It's all about how to do modern full-stack web development. Now, we know the full-stack contains these parts. Our browsers can do many amazing things, and so our user interfaces should be interactive and dynamic to make our users successful. But they also have to look good, so we'll also use CSS libraries so that we can quickly and easily make our UIs look great. Of course, the business logic lives in the middleware, and this needs to be something that we can easily change and manage and update as our users' needs evolve and change. And of course, everything is about managing data, and our database isn't just some fancy hash table. It's a very powerful piece of software that allows us to store our data reliably and get it out quickly. In the book, we talk about Angular 2, Bootstrap 3, Rails 5, and Postgres 9.6. Let's take a brief tour of these technologies and see what they have to offer us, starting with Bootstrap. Bootstrap can take a kind of boring looking form like this, and by just adding classes to the HTML provided by Bootstrap, you can have something that looks like this, all without writing any CSS. That's pretty great. Bootstrap can also help lay out entire pages by using a grid. Designers use grids in order to keep things cohesive and organized, and Bootstrap gives you one. And by applying every element so that it aligns on a grid, things tend to come together and look good without having to do a lot of work. Of course, just having the user interface look good is only part of it. It needs to behave in a way that helps our users, and that's where Angular comes in. Angular is a JavaScript framework that allows us to quickly and easily build dynamic user interfaces like the one you see here. We're doing a type ahead search where we're actually hitting Rails. We're navigating between pages, doing asynchronous requests, updating the DOM when those requests are complete, and then helping the user fill out forms by doing inline validation based on HTML5 validations and submitting all of that back to the server. And the best part is all of this code can be easily unit tested outside a browser as part of your build step. Unit tested JavaScript code is great because it gives you confidence. Now, let's go to the other side of the stack and talk about Postgres. Postgres is a very powerful open source SQL database that rivals commercial offerings and exceeds many open source offerings. Let's look at some of the features that we can get, starting with indexes. So here, we're creating an index in Postgres on the lower cased version of the last name in the customers field. That means we can create indexes on transformed values. And it means that when we run a query like this, that both has a transformation to the lowercase version and uses a like, it's indexed and very fast. That's amazing. Postgres also has advanced data types like JSON. So here we're creating a column called insights to the customer's table that is JSON B, B meaning binary, meaning we can index it, meaning we can run a query like this, show me all customers whose insights include a curiosity about accessories, and it's not only works, but it's super fast. Postgres also lets you cache the results of complex queries in a materialized view. That's not just a view that runs the query every time, but it's actually stored in the database, meaning it is very fast. And of course, you can access stuff like this from Rails the same way you would anything else, using Active Record. And that's a core theme of the book, is that using Rails as your middleware, you can write your Rails code the same as you would any other Rails application, but you still get access to the full power of Angular, Bootstrap, and Postgres. I hope you've enjoyed this tour of my book and pick it up now, Rails, Angular, Postgres, and Bootstrap. Thanks.